This video is about density. You're going to be able to determine the volume of a substance and calculate the density, mass, or volume by doing a density calculation. First, we should make some initial definitions based on some labs we've done. The mass is the amount of matter in a subject, so how many particles it has. And we usually use a balance, like the one on the left, to find the mass of substances. And the volume is the amount of space it takes up. So we usually use a cylinder or a ruler to figure out what the volume of a substance is. Since the mass is pretty straightforward, let's go into volume in a little more detail. You can find a volume by doing length times width times height of a regular solid. The example on the right shows that the length, width, and height of a cube are well, one centimeter, and when you multiply one by one by one, that means this is a cubic centimeter. Also, you can find it using a graduated cylinder, like the uh, picture on the bottom right, and you read the meniscus at the lowest point, and remember we measure one place beyond. So since you can see 25, 26, 27, 28, and somewhere between 27 and 28, we write 27.5, so that should be a good review. Putting that together, when we read the meniscus, you want to read the lowest point, and you want to read it from a good angle. You don't want to read up to the top because then you're reading the actual top of the meniscus, or read too low, reading from high, you'll be the bottom of the meniscus. You want to read straight at the meniscus. So the reading is correct if you're at the proper line of sight, so get down low to see the meniscus. And then one other thing that you might see in some of the videos is water displacement. So when you look at the initial volume of a water, it has to be water that would be above the particles that you put in. In this case, maybe they put in two marbles. So it has to be more than the marbles um, are in height. You measure that initial volume, then you put your marbles in and you find the final volume of the object and you do a subtraction. So initially it looks like it was straight on the four. Finally, it seems like a straight on the six. So that means the marbles took up two milliliters. So at this point, you should be able to determine the volume of a substance. Putting that together, we're going to find the density. The density is a ratio of the mass to the volume. This formula is on the back of your reference table T, and it defines what D, M, and V all are. So if you look at box A and B, they might ask you something like, which one has the most density, or are, there e are they equal? And hopefully you can tell me that box A is more dense, but you might have to tell me why. And that's because there's more mass in the same volume. So since there's more particles in box A, but they have the same volume, that box A is more dense. They're more closely packed. Then you should also be able to do some simple calculations. Like what's the density of an object that has a mass of 60 and a volume of 2 centimeters cubed? So your density formula is mass over volume. You put 60 in for the numerator and 2 in for the denominator. When you divide it at 30, but remember we want to keep our sig fig rules. So if 60.0 has 3 sig figs and 2.0 has 2 sig figs, we're going to go by least decimals, I mean least sig figs, and you'll get 30, and you'll put a decimal there to make the zero count, and that's trapped by the dot. Let's do another one together. An object has a volume of 825 cubic centimeters, and the density is 13.6 grams per cubic centimeter. Find its mass. So try this on your own. Let's check our answers. So that means that the density is going to be given as 13.6 on the left field, and the volume was given as 825 on the denominator and we need to solve for mass. And the way we do that is by cross multiplying. So we're gonna do 13.6 times 825.0, and for sig figs, it looks like we're gonna round to four since they were given four both times. And so my final answer was 11,220. That zero at the end doesn't count because there's no decimal, so 11,220. Now let's see if you can do this. An object has a volume of 45 centimeters cubed and a density of 11.20 grams per centimeter, find its mass. Now that you plugged your answer into Edpuzzle, let's see if you got the right answer. So the setup is pretty much the same. 11.2 is given as a density. We don't know the mass, but we know the volume is 45. Sometimes they ask for just setup, so you do have to show this work, and you should know how to plug them in. Then you know to cross multiply, hopefully, and go to three sig figs, because uh, 45.0 only had three sig figs. So 504 grams. So just um, one other type of question is how to solve for M or V if the density is not given. For example, if the volume of aluminum sample is 251, what's the mass? And you might say, I only have one number. How are you supposed to figure out both? So using table S and near the back of your reference table, you would look up that substance that they're talking about, and the density would be given, as you can see in the blue circle, 2.7. Now that you know the density, you can plug uh, the numbers in. The density is 2.7. The volume is 251. We cross multiply like the previous examples and we solve for mass, and we check our sig figs, three were given, so we keep three. This point, you should be able to calculate density, mass, and volume. 
And you need to know how to de determine the volume of a substance by reading it, length times width times height, or water displacement, reading meniscuses, and then calculating the density, mass, and volume for that information.